Before God, I entered into a covenant to provide prayer for you every day from now until Jesus comes. You'll never be without prayer again. Take advantage of it. Welcome to Morning Prayer. Glory to God. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Morning Prayer Program. I am so excited about this morning. Today is going to be a day of victory in your life, and I uh, am joined here by Mr. Tim Fox. Good How morning. are you, sir? I am so blessed because I know what's going to happen this morning. Amen. People are going to call in, people are going to get prayed for, and results are going to happen. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. We can have confidence when we go to the Word in prayer. Not only that, but we have Pastor John Jester in the aisle. How are you, Pastor John? Good morning, everyone. Listen, there's a tangible anointing over Amen. here amongst our prayer ministers. Amen. They're waiting on your call, so give us a call, 877 281 6297. It's going to be awesome this morning. Amen. Amen. You know, uh, Tim and I were talking about before the show about, you know, what, what's on our hearts. And today, I just feel really strongly that today is going to be a day of victory in our lives. Amen. You know, we're on the Victory Network, and I want to read a verse to you Good. real quickly from 1 John chapter 4, or chapter 5, verses 4 and 5. For whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, our faith. Mm. Who is he that overcomes the world? But he that believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Amen. So no matter what you're facing, no matter what you're going through, no matter what situations may pop up in your life, this verse right here answers the question right. that you have a right to live in victory. That's right. You have a right to overcome. And not only that, but Jesus has empowered you by, to good. overcome by giving you his very faith. So That's today right. we're going to come together. Yes. We're going to use our yes. faith. We're going to pray, not from the position of the situation, but we're going to pray from the position of victory yeah. and we're going to see Jesus manifest That's right. in That's your life. Right. Hey, give us a call. 877-281-6297. 877-281-6297. You know, holding the other thing that we have a right to live in, it's freedom from fear. Absolutely. We have a right to live, live free from fear and we want to give you a, in fact, let me read you something out of the Word of God from 1 John 4. Just a chapter up from where Holden just read. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear because fear hath punishment and he that feareth is not made perfect in love. Well, here's a way that you can get perfect in love Amen. and get free from fear. It is a free digital download from KCM absolutely free. All you have to do is go to uh, govictory.com slash morning prayer. Govictory.com slash morning prayer and you can get your free digital download. We want you to do that. Praise the Lord. Over. That's exciting. Again, we want you guys to call. We're here for you. We want to be in agreement with you. Call 877-281-6297. It's 877-281-6297. We want to come into agreement with you and we're going to start with these prayer requests right now. I have Vivian from South Carolina believing for peace in her sister's home and for family salvation um, and Sharon for the husband of her salvation. Sharon's her sister. So Father, Right now, we come into agreement Thank with Vivian you, and there will be peace Thank in Sharon's you, home and everybody in her household will you, be Jesus. saved in Jesus' Thank name. You, I have Sarah you, um, from Carl's Band, believe in God for healing. You're healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. I have Sharon from Oregon, believe in God to be healed from a bladder infection. You are healed right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Tim? I have RV from Missouri. He called in and said he wants us to agree with him that he has a new truck. Amen. Thank you. You know, that's not too hard for God. Thank you, Father, for his new truck in Jesus' name. Jean from Alabama, healing on her feet and legs. Thank you, Father God, for healing Jean's feet and legs. Robert called in from Georgia, praying for just healing. Father, we thank you that he yes, is healed Lord. in the name of Jesus. Joe uh, from Ontario, God bless you. Thank you for watching this morning. His wife Susie needs healing and they need finances. Thank you for Susie's healing, Father, and thank you for abundant finances for them. And uh, Ravine from uh, Washington called in about debt freedom. Thank you, Father God, that that debt is wiped away in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Pastor John, who do you have over there? You know, I, I'm, I'm over here with all of our prayer ministers and it's a phenomenal sight 
over here. There, uh, I can see the screens. As soon as we go live, you start calling. Thank you for that. Thank you for calling. Thank you for watching and thank you for participating. We're also being prompted that calls are, uh, are, are having to hold in line. So we want you to keep calling. If you get a busy signal, call back 877-281-6297 and we will get you in because our goal in this program is to pray for you. Barbara in Lakeland, F Florida says she needs a home. Father, right now in Jesus name, you're sending her the home, the address, the exact place where you intend to meet with her. So Father, we thank you for that new home in Jesus name. Anne in Hattiesburg, Mississippi is praying for her family and for those relationships to be restored. You know, Anne, family is God's idea. So Father, right now, according to your word and your creation of family, we come into agreement with her that her family will be restored and those relationships, those bonds, those cords that tie them together will not easily be broken in Jesus name. Father, I thank you for David and Clifton who's receiving his healing uh, from, uh, he, from a stroke and from paralysis. Lord, you're ministering to his body. Father, I thank you for restoration in every part of his body in the name of Jesus. And honesty in Jacksonville, Florida says that David has gone missing. She's praying that David would be found. Father, right now we, we dispatch angels, escorting angels to escort David back to where he belongs right now in Jesus name. And I thank you for the wisdom of God that knows all things. And you know how to locate David in Jesus name. Amen. Back to you guys. Hey, Pastor John, you know, as I'm hearing you read these prayer requests and we're going through it, it reminds me of something that Pastor Terry says. Pastor Terry says that there's always a sound in God. That's yeah. right. That's Amen? absolutely yeah. right. And whenever we come into, whenever I'm reading these prayer requests, I'm hearing the sound of victory. Oh, that's yeah, good. it's the note of victory. That's it's good. the note of victory. That's right. We're not praying from a place. We, I don't, you know, we're going through a bunch of different things. You might be going through something that's very, very extreme, but even God. no matter what situation, there's a God in heaven yes, who's able is. to deliver you. Yes, and right. whenever we come into agreement in prayer, we pray from the victory side. Yeah, so I right. want to uh, come into agreement with Rosetta that she has victory over her son and he has a job and he has finances. And Melinda in Georgia, she has victory and her friend Ann has victory and she is healed Amen. in Jesus Amen. name. I have Anita from Chester and we're in agreement. She has nerve damage in her face. You have victory in your face. Amen. You have victory over your nerves. Amen. You are healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet in Jesus name. We also want to remind you when you get your answer, you hear what I said? When you get your answer, Amen. we want you to call in and testify because I'm going to steal this from Pastor John. He said this a few days ago. Every one of these prayer requests is a testimony in progress. Amen. And we want to hear your testimonies as well. So call those in as well to 877-281-6297. I have Delphina from Pensacola, Florida, healing for her husband's hip and legs and to be pain free. Thank you, Father God, for Delphina's husband. His hips are, and his legs are pain free free in Jesus name. Uh, Sharita from Tennessee, ministry and family. Thank you, Father God, for Sharita's ministry and her family. Father, they're both blessed. Amen. Coming in and going out in Jesus name. Catherine from Tennessee, home and property repairs. Thank you, Father God, that you take care of those home and property repairs. And Sally from Elizabethtown, uh, one prayer for her son. Thank you, Father God, for Sally's son in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Pastor John, we're going to come to you real quickly, but I want to read this testimony first. This comes from Deborah in Fort Worth. Now I want you to hear this testimony. When Billy Burke was here, he called out healing of diabetes specifically for one of the prayer ministers here at KCM. That was me. So we had a prayer minister get healed of diabetes. She said last week I had blood labs done and my blood sugar levels registered in the normal range. Praise Hallelujah. God. Oh, praise you know, God for that. That's amen. Right James there. chapter five <laughs> says yeah. pray for one another yes. that you might yes. be healed. So as we come together in agreement, there's going to be healing taking place. So as you pray for healing for our brothers and sisters around the, the, the nation and around the world, that's a seed sown for yes. your own healing. Amen. Amen. Pastor Amen. John, what do you have over there? You know, I just saw them walk by the uh, walk by with the sign that tells us how many calls are holding. And I'm telling you that people are calling and you are responding. Thank you so much for participating. You know what that response is? That response is participation and it's the corporate anointing at at work. That's why we get the results that we get. It's the power of God, people of faith, and the corporate anointing. There's something about it when people who know how to use their faith 
come together and pray. Amanda uh, in Avon, North Carolina is praying for finances and to find a new home. That corporate anointing is working on your behalf right now, Amanda. Right now in Jesus' name, I thank you that all your needs are provided according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. You're the righteousness of God. So take that by faith. Dean in Pembroke, North Carolina is praying for salvation and healing for his son and brother. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you that you're sending laborers into their path, God, that people who can minister the gospel and bring them into the kingdom and you're drawing them by the power of your Holy Spirit. Maryland in Harvard is praying for wisdom for doctor healing and full mobility. Father, I thank you that she's able to move in you. She lives and she moves and has her being. Father, I thank you for that. And I thank you that you're ministering to her body. I thank you that you're also ministering to Sandra in Muskegon, uh, Michigan, debt freedom and for her house. Father, we thank you. We lift that up. We lift up her car. We lift up her house bills. Father, we call them paid and paid off in Jesus name. And Janet in Waterford, California is praying for healing. Father, I thank you. You're touching her body in the name of Jesus. Back to you, Holden. Amen. Amen. Pastor John, you talked about the corporate anointing. Yes. Matthew chapter 18 says, we're two or more gathered together in agreement. That's Tim, right. the I am shows up. Oh my Glory gosh. God. He shows yes. up every time. He's here now. Yeah. He's here now. He's in your living <laughs> He's room. Here. He's in your car. <laughs> He's in your bathroom. He's there. And with him comes victory. Woo. Tim, who do you have? You know, uh, I'm going to bring John in on this too. The three of us are going to agree in faith together because Amen. Karen called in and said yeah. a pastor friend of hers named Bob, he called in and said his daughter is giving him a kidney Praise. for a transplant and they're praying for peace. So Father, Amen. right now, Thank the you, three Jesus. of us, all of our prayer ministers, yes. Yes, all of our Jesus. team here, yes, we Lord. agree with Karen right now yes, for yes, Bob Lord. and his daughter for this surgery yeah. and this kidney uh, to go well. In mm -hmm. Jesus' name, we thank you for the peace of God that passes all understanding to Mount Guard yes, over Lord. their hearts and their minds and guide the doctor's thank hand. You, and we thank you for quick yes. and speedy recovery thank in Jesus', Jesus. name. Oh, Phyllis called you. in from Tennessee. Uh, she has been with us for 45 years. God bless you, Phyllis, and God bless all of you that are partners with this ministry. We love you and we appreciate all you do for us. Uh, she's believing God for healing and a blessing for her family. So Phyllis, we're in agreement with you for healing and a blessing for your family. Mary from Douglasville, blood pressure and her heart. Thank you, Father God, that Mary's blood pressure is normal and her heart beats with the rhythm of the kingdom of God. And we thank you for that. And a friend of hers has bone cancer and we rebuke that bone cancer. And thank you, Father God, for complete healing. Uh, Stika from Oklahoma for healing. Thank you for her healing. And Joseph called in praying for stomach issues. We thank you that that stomach Father lines up with the Word of God yes, and all sir. that's in there that doesn't belong is gone in Jesus' yes, name. Sir. Hey, I want to encourage you guys, call 877-281-6297. We have trained prayer ministers here that are ready to pray with you on the victory side. Come in faith with you. Come in agreement with you. 877-281-6297. You know, Tim, we've been talking a lot about victory this show, and I'm believing that victory is going to manifest yes. in your life. Yes. I want them to see yeah. this clip by Pastor Terry real quick. She talks about praying in faith and praying from a position of victory. Watch this clip and we'll be right back. Faith has a victory nature about it. Faith, faith does not understand or comprehend, look to, or even consider defeat. Because no matter what it looks like, faith has its eye on a prize that's well beyond even this life. Faith has its eye on the prize. And Paul said, I've got my eye on that prize. And with my faith, I'm pressing towards it. I'm pressing towards it. So we aren't distracted by the things that, that the world can easily try to distract us with. Amen, amen. You know, Tim, that's interesting that faith has its price even into eternity. It absolutely does. It does, it, it does. absolutely does. And I love the fact that this network is called Victory. Victory. Because every time you say the name of this network, amen. you're confessing you're victory confessing in your own life. Your life. That you're confessing victory in your own life. And we actually have a testimony that came in. Uh, this is from Christine. She called in and said she was healed 
from a growth on her hairline. That is such a great testimony. Amen. And we want you to call in 877-281-6297 and let us hear your testimonies because we would want to, Amen. we really want to rejoice with you. Go Amen. ahead, Holden. I have Terry from Sun City Center, believing God for healing and salvation for her son. He is healed. He Amen. has the Zoe Amen. life of God, nothing missing, nothing broken. I have Christy from Florida, believing God for healing. You are healed in Jesus name by the stripes of Jesus. I have Vivian for St. Louis, uh, believing God to be delivered from fear and for healing. I want to encourage you, yes. Vivian, right now yes. to get this. It is our free digital download at uh, govictory.com slash morning prayer. Uh, it is a book, mini book by Pastor George says, no fear here. So go get it. It'll be a blessing to you. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And faith is what causes us to overcome in life. I have Joyce from Gibbings, believe in God for a new vehicle. Philippians 4.19 says he meets your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. I have Michelle uh, from Indianapolis, believe in God for family, peace and unity. The Prince of Peace is manifesting Hallelujah. in your home right now in Jesus Hallelujah. name. I have Marie from Fayetteville, believe in God for her sisters, salvation and deliverance. She is healed and laborers are crossing her path right now in Jesus name. I have Shelly from Baytown, Texas, believe in God for deliverance from demonic attacks right now. Thank you, Father. Father, in the name Thank of Jesus, Jesus, according Thank to you, 2 Father. Corinthians chapter 10 Thank and you, verse 3 through 5, we you, pull Father. down strongholds according to the weapons that have been yes. given to us. They are absolutely yes. destroyed Thank and you. we come into agreement with the finished works of Jesus yes. where he says yes. that the Son of Man, the Son of God was manifested That's to right. destroy That's the right. works of the That's devil right. and the, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Pastor John. I'm watching our prayer ministers and I'm watching them uh, and I'm in awe of the professionalism that they operate in. They're skilled in the Word of God, so they're confessing scriptures on every call. They're praying the Word of God. And then I'm watching them typing in your prayer requests so that we get them and we have that point of contact. 877-281-6297. You hear us give that number a lot during the program. It truly is your point of contact. When we get that, that prayer request, it's our opportunity to in the spirit come into connection with you and pray with you. Helen in Sharpsburg, in Sharpsburg North Carolina, Carolina is praying for wisdom. Father, I thank you that your word says that you give wisdom and you hold nothing back. That if we ask for wisdom and Lord, we're asking for wisdom. I'm asking with her in Jesus name for that wisdom of God uh, to come to her in abundance. Stephanie in Maryland is praying for her husband, Marilyn, who's on a heart machine. Father, I thank you that you give him the heart of almighty God. And Father, I thank you that he's coming off of that machine in wholeness and his heart is going to be stronger than it ever Ever has been in Jesus name. Teresa uh, in Colorado is praying for healing from nerve damage and muscle tightness. Father, I thank you that the spirit of God is going through her body and it's loosening every muscle and it's regenerating every nerve ending right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, while I'm praying, I thank you that you're touching uh, Roxasina in New Orleans. Father, you're touching her and you're touching her home situation. You're opening up an opportunity for home ownership for her father, debt free home in Jesus. Jesus name. And I have Letta from Columbus who says she's praying for her friend Patty who's on a ventilator due to COVID-19. Letta, I'm telling you that the breath of God, you need to be praying that the breath of God courses through Patty's body, that she breathes the breath of God. Father, I come into agreement with her right now that she comes off of that machine in Jesus name. Amen. Back to you, Holden. Amen. Right, thank you, John. You know, this is what is so powerful about this program because all of us together believe in God and we get some of these prayer requests. Well, all of them are coming in real time, but we have a couple that I want to read that we're all going to agree with right now that came to me just a moment ago in real time. Pamela called in from Aubrey, Texas. She said, Sandy, who is the leader of the ladies Bible study is having bypass surgery right now. And Maria called and she says she has a cousin in surgery right now as well. And she's believing for all to go well. So father, in the yes, name Lord. of Jesus, John, Holden, myself, all of our team here, we come together in agreement with Pamela 
for Sandy, who is in bypass surgery right now. Father, we thank you that the yes, doctor's Jesus. hands are guided by the master himself. Yes, the Lord. master surgeon, Jesus, is yes, guiding Lord. those doctor's hands in Jesus' name. That bypass surgery will go well, yes, and Sandy Lord. will come out better on the other side than when she came yes, in. And Maria's absolutely. cousin also will have successful yes, surgery Jesus. in Jesus' name. In go ahead, Jesus' Holden. name, Woo. amen. You know, we've been talking about over, uh, overcoming faith and overcoming prayers and praying from the victory side. You know, another way the Bible says in Revelation chapter 12 that we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. I want you to listen to these testimonies right here. I have Mary B. from North Little Rock, Arkansas, called for prayer a couple days ago for her rental property, and she's gotten new renters. Praise hey, God. Amen. That was just a couple days <laughs> ago. God. God is doing a quick work. He's working <laughs> some immediately and some suddenlies in Jesus' name. I have Carmel from uh, Melbourne, Florida, called for her son to get a sale and bless God he did. Praise so as we Lord. come into agreement with Praise your prayers, as Pastor John says, these are testimonies in progress. So we want you to call in and testify. 877-281-6297. We want to hear your testimony. We want to hear what the Lord's done in your life because what it does is it encourages everybody Glory. else yes. that if God did it for you, he'll do yes. it for me yes. in Jesus' yes. name. Yes. I have Gina from St. Louis, Missouri, believe in God for her wisdom for her daughter, wisdom to communicate with their grandkids uh, and wisdom to communicate with their grandkids. So Father, right thank now, you, Father. your word says that thank Jesus you, has been made unto thank us you, wisdom. So I thank you that you are manifesting in her life right now in Jesus name. I have Tammy from North Carolina, believe in God for favor for, for employment, believe in God for her own home and healing for her thank parents. You, you know, the Bible says that he perfects that which concerns you. You have favor in your life, you have favor with your house and you have favor with your parents and your parents are healed in Jesus name. Thank you, I have uh, Kelsey from uh, Maryland believe in God for finances of $30,000 to build a Christian website. Glory. A Christian social Glory. media website. No, that's a witty invention. It the is. Bible talks about them. <laughs> it the Bible it also is. talks about it when they're from God, he will supply everything you need to see it come to pass. So we're in agreement with you right now in Jesus name. I have RV uh, from Missouri believe in God for deliverance and for salvation of a friend. He is delivered and he is saved. He yes. is experiencing the yes. Zoe, the Sozo uh, salvation of the Lord with nothing missing, nothing broken. Pastor John. You know, Holden, twice you and Tim have talked about prayer requests from people who are praying over surgeries that they're gonna have. And we've seen so many testimonies on this program of people calling us the morning of surgery, going in and not needing surgery. So I'm telling you, 877-281-6297 is an opportunity for you to step into a place where you're getting prayer and faith and the victory comes quickly. So we're believing for quick victory for Giovanna in, uh, uh, in Roseman, California for a better job for her. I, I believe for a quick victory for you, Giovanna. Patricia in Spring, Texas is believing for favor with her new manager. I believe that you're going to have quick favor with your new manager. Kay in Oklahoma is believing for her daughter-in-law, Deb, for her colon to be healed. Father, I thank you that you're healing that colon in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you that you're doing a quick work in her body right now in the name of Jesus. Cinda in Des Moines, Iowa is praying for healing from uh, for a brain injury for her brother. Lord, I thank you that you're bringing back every mem memory. You're fixing those synapses. You're, you're restoring that brain tissue, Father. I thank you that brain matter is being restored right now in the name of Jesus and it is functioning the way you created his brain to function in Jesus' name. Marco in New York is praying for because he needs a family home. Father, I thank you. There's so many people praying for homes. And so, Lord, I thank you that you're sending your people into quiet resting places where your spirit dwells. God, we thank you that according to your word, you're providing all of their needs and you're meeting them according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Now, no matter if you can see how, it doesn't matter if you can see how it's supposed to happen. God knows how it's going to happen. So you take it by faith. Back to you guys. Amen. Absolutely. You know, I want to read this right here. This is encouraging and I think it brings out a principle that we can uh, lay hold of. Helen from Caresville, she has a testimony and a prayer request. Testimony, her husband Dale's health is improved. The prayer request is the end goal. He will be healed from dementia. Gloria. You know, Glory. This brother Billy Burke says something. If we can diagnose an issue on the basis of a symptom, yeah. why can't we rejoice at a miracle yeah. on the basis of improvement? Absolutely. There's a principle in the Bible Absolutely. that says he sowed the seed and it came up. First the ear, 
then the corn, and then the full ear in the corn. Yes. This is improvement. This is yes. a miracle. And yes. we're believing God for the full restoration in Jesus' name, Hallelujah. Helen, for your husband, Dale. I have Magalie from uh, McGay's, believing God for healing in her leg. Your leg is healed. I encourage you right now, go ahead and lay hands on your leg right now Glory. in Jesus' name, Glory. wherever the issue is, and that power of God will be released. There's no time or distance by the Spirit. Yes. I yes. have Anne from Green Greenwood, believing God for healing for her husband's back. He is healed Glory. in the name of Jesus. The Bible says Glory. in Jeremiah 17 that I surely I will heal you yeah. in Jesus name. I have Christina from Virgin Islands. Uh, she's believing God to, to go to KCBC next class. There Amen. You, you know, there we you have, go. it's a blessing that we have a Bible college, Kenneth Copeland Bible College, where you are embedded with the word of faith and you're touched you're coached and you're equipped to live on the victory side of Amen. everything in Jesus Amen. name. Tim, uh, we're going to read these. I'm reading these as your confession of faith and we're agreeing Amen. with you that it's done. So Dolly, peace in every area. It's done. James from Chicago, healing from mental illness. Done in Jesus name. Done. Uh, Demetrio uh, from Virginia, successful business. Thank you. That's done in the name of Jesus. James called in prayer uh, over a name seat for a house, vehicle, a new job. That is done in Jesus name. Ellen from Georgia, finances done in the wow. heavenlies in Jesus name. Sandra delivered from fear and anxiety. That's done in Jesus name. Bonnie from Oregon, healing in Jesus name. It's done. Linda, healing for heart and nervousness, uh, possibly due to loss of a husband in October of 19, uh, 2019. Father, we thank you for that. It's done wow. in Jesus' name, healing for her heart and nervousness. Giovanna, healing for healing and weight loss, done in Jesus' name. And uh, Andrea uh, from Michigan, healing and peace, done in Jesus' Tim, name. Tim, there is power in that word done. It's done. Every time you said it, it just <laughs> went off inside of me. Pastor John, what else is done over there? Glory to God. You know what? You know what's done? Our ability to come into agreement <laughs> with those who are calling in. We've got Amen. Trish in Mill Valley, California. She says, come into agreement with her. She, that she agrees that God is in control. God honors all of her giving. God never forgets a seed, Trish, and believing for herself and her ministries for financial income. And she says she's believing without fear. That is done in the name of Jesus, That's according done. to the word of God. Father, we thank you yes, for those Lord. financial in, for that financial income for her right now. And Lord, I thank you. I pray over her seed right now for a hundredfold return harvest on her seed in Jesus name. Molly in Jackson is believing for her daughter, Tammy and her daughters, Tammy and Amy for peace and healing. Father, I thank you that you're sending your shalom peace to them, nothing missing, nothing broken, and they walk in the health and healing of Almighty God. We also have Elza in Oklahoma, Shatik. Uh, Chatinka in Dayton, Ohio, and Mark in Fresno, California. All three of them are believing for healing. So Father, right now I stretch my hand out and I lay my hands on this prayer request as a point of contact. Father, you're healing their body, whatever the issue is. You're healing their family, whatever the issue is. And Father, I thank you that they are on the victory side in Jesus name. Jesus Amen. Name. Back to y'all. Amen. Romans chapter four says that he calls those things that be not, be not. as though they were. Yeah. So that's Amen. what we're doing yes. when we're saying done. Yes. Cynthia from Georgia, deliverance from healing, from anxiety and wisdom. That's done, done. in Jesus <laughs> name. I have Jacqueline from Sanford believing for debt, uh, debt free land and a home in Jesus name. That is done. done. Amen. <laughs> I have Jennifer from Tapulio believing God for health, holiness for her son and to be delivered from heart Glory. disease. That is done <laughs> in Jesus name. You know, God is in a finished work. It's yes, done. Yes, yes. Jesus paid the price and he said it is finished. Yes. So we're coming into agreement with what he's done. And I want to encourage you guys, you know, we're going off the air here in just about two minutes, but these prayer ministers are here all day. Yep. 877-281-6297. Yes. We have just under two minutes left. We're going to get to as many of these as possible. Uh, but I want to encourage you guys, call throughout the day. If you're on hold, if you weren't able to get through, they're here all day. We might go off the air, but they still are trained and equipped to come yes. into agreement with yes. you in Jesus name. Tim. Alicia, favor, done. Amen. Virginia from New York, deliverance, 
done. You are delivered in Jesus' Amen. name. Bruce from Phoenix, healing in both shoulders and restoration of body, done by the mighty, mighty works of power Jesus. of Jesus. Valerie uh, from just down the road in Hazlitt, sister's healing, done. Susan, brother's healing, done in Jesus' name. Buddy from Kentucky, uh, healing from uh, cellulitis, that's done in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. And Donnie from Detroit has missing mail. That's coming back in Jesus' name. That's done. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Pastor John, we have just over a minute. Give us three, three to five of those that you have over there. Hey, listen, before I give those, we're getting ready to go off the program, but I want to remind everyone about our driving yes. ser drive in service right here on the property this coming Sunday, 11 a.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Central, right here on the mountain. You don't want to miss it. So if you're anywhere near, make sure you make your way here to Eagle Mountain International Church. Back to you guys. All hey, right. Amen. We're going to come into agreement. We're going to lay hands on this. Pastor John, I want you to lay hands yes, on those Lord. that you have over there. Father, thank you, thank you, Father. in Jesus' name, yes. we thank, thank you, you that all thank these you, prayer Father. requests are done. done. We pray yes, in accordance with your will. We pray in accordance with your word. And we confess the name of Jesus. And you said, if that's anything yes. in my yes. name, that's yes. right. it that's right. will be done. Ooh, yes, in Jesus' Lord, name, you, praise the thank Lord. You, We're in agreement with you. We're happy to be in yes, agreement with you. Yes, we love you. We yes. want to encourage you guys to join this evening for Victory Update at 5 p.m. Eastern That's time. Right. And remember that we love you. That's right. God, God loves, loves you. And Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. It's done.